okay in today's video i am in today's lesson i am going to um do the more practice on using the rules which we learned in the previous lesson and i am also going to uh, introduce new concept finding the equation of the tangent so i'm going to start with these are the rules which we already know if y is equal to x to the power of n y prime is n x n minus 1 and if y is a x to the power of n y prime is a n x raised to power n minus 1 now uh, let's use those rules to find the derivative of the functions the first function is f of x is equal to x cube plus 2x square minus 3x plus 4 now to find the f dash x we can treat this function as a addition of four functions so i underline those four functions here and we know using the formula x to the power of n which is n x n minus 1 the derivative of x cube will be 3x square plus and 2x square using the formula a x raised to power n will be 2 times 2x and for the linear function uh, the coefficient of x is the derivative so negative 3 and for constant derivative is 0 so this will be 0 so that means f dash x is equal to 3x square plus 4x minus 3 that's your final answer now the next one is x plus 4 divided by square root of x it does not look like because in the previous one we had fx which consists of four different functions and but there was nothing in the denominator but in this case we have square root of x in the denominator so first step we should do is to get rid of the denominator so what i can do here is i can separate them so if you uh, know that if you have 6 plus 2 divided by 2 you can solve this in two different ways one is first 6 plus 2 is 8 8 over 2 is 4 and or you can do 6 over 2 plus 2 over 2 and this is equal to 3 plus 1 which is also uh, equal to 4 so always uh, remember that when you have more than one terms in the numerator but only one term in the denominator you can always separate them so you can always do 6 over 2 2 over 2 but this is not true if you have 2 over 2 plus 4 this cannot be written as 2 over 2 plus 2 over 4 so this is false so this is not true but um this one is true so we are going to use that so here x over square root of x which means x to the power of 1 minus half using the laws of exponent and this can be written as 4x minus half so this is x minus 1 over 2 this is 4 into x raised to power uh, minus 1 over 2 so one more time this is 1 this is half which means this is 1 minus uh, 1 over half and this one is 4x raised to power minus half okay now this one uh, you can even so this is equal sorry this this one is plus half so and this is x minus half now this is still f of x i haven't taken the uh, derivative of the function so this is still f dash fx so f dash x is equal to 1 over 2 again using the rule x to the power of n uh, so this is 1 over 2 x raised to power 1 over 2 minus 1 this is 4 times minus half x raised to power negative 1 over 2 minus 1 so we got here 1 over 2 x to the power of negative half and then this 2 and 2 get cancel so this is minus 2 x to the power of minus 3 over 2 so i'm going to rewrite this 1 over 2 x minus half minus 2 into x raised to power minus 3 over 2 so this is your final answer for um, f dash x okay so we are going to move to the second one now so the another question is you have fi- have to find the derivative of y is equal to x plus 1 x minus 2 so you have to find y prime here so first step you should do is because again we don't know at this point how to do this uh, or if there is any rule at this point we don't know so what we can do here is uh, we know how to open the bracket so first step we should do is open the bracket so x multiply by x is x square x multiplied by negative 2 minus 2x 1 plus x 1 multiplied by x is x minus 2 now collect the like terms and this is still y okay and now we need to find y prime again if this function consists of three functions so derivative of x square is 2x derivative of x is minus 1 derivative of 2 is 0 so y dash is equal to 2x minus 1 is your answer okay so the next one y prime is equal to now before you do y prime here you again have to simplify it so expand the bracket 
2x plus 1, that is your y. So this is equal to x cubed plus 2x squared plus x, still y. And now y prime will be 3x squared plus 4x plus 1. So this is your y prime. Now this one, again, you need to simplify x squared over x plus 5 over x. So this is x, this is 5x minus 1. So y prime is equal to derivative of x is 1. Derivative of x minus 1, you can still use the rule xn is equal to nxn minus 1 because this works for n anything, any real number. So which means this is negative 1, x raised to the power minus 2. So 1 minus 5 over x square, this is your y dash. So the next one is y is equal to 3 minus x minus 2 over square root of x. I'm going to rewrite this again. So this is same as this. And now we are ready because we do not know, need any, we don't, should not have any denominator. So this is derivative of 3 is 0 minus 1 minus 2 minus half x to the power of, again using x to the power of n rule, this one. So this becomes negative 1, 2 and 2 get cancelled, plus 1 into x to the power of minus 3 over 2. So minus 1 plus x minus 3 over 2 is your final answer. So that is your final answer here. Okay. So the next one I'm going to do is, uh, so this is like one step more. So what you need to do here is you have to find the equation of the tangent here. And I'm going to start with a simple example. So y is equal to x squared and you have to find uh, the equation of the tangent at x is equal to 1. We know the graph of y is equal to x squared is parabola, opens up, and then x is equal to 1. And you have to find the equation of a tangent which is a line. So you have to find this. So how do we find the equation of a line? You know to find the equation of a line, there are two things which you need. So equation of a line is y is equal to mx plus c, where m is your slope and c is your y-intercept. Okay, so these are the two things which you need. Now, let's have a look how to find the slope. We already know how to find the slope for this. So what you do is y dash is equal to 2x is the derivative function for this parabola. And now we need the equation of a tangent at x is equal to 1. So we have to find y dash when x is equal to 1, which is 2. So we already know uh, the slope. The slope is equal to 2 here. So now we need to do, we need to substitute y is equal to 2x plus c. Now the question is how to find c in this case. So what I'm going to do is, I have only one information because you know I cannot use the graph and estimate that uh, what is the y-intercept here or um, so how do I find c here. Now the first thing is uh, here, uh, so this, this, the the line may not be you know matching with the curve here so to find the y intercept what i need to do is the only thing i need i know is the 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 tangent is has to be at point one and i know y is equal to x square is an equation which means one comma one when you substitute x is one so one comma one is the point of contact so this is called point of contact and which is equal to one comma one which means this 1 comma 1 must be on the line and this 1 comma 1 is also on the curve. So I can substitute y is 1 and x is 1. So 1 is equal to 2 plus c. So c is equal to minus 1, which means the equation of the tangent is equal to y is equal to 2x minus 1 is your answer. So I'm going to recall the steps of how to find the equation of a tangent um, uh, in a few minutes. So I'm going to do another example so that you can see the process again. And But there is a, another one more step. y is equal to square root of x. And for that, you have to find the equation of the tangent. Now, this is y is equal to square root of x. And x is equal to 1 is this point um, tangent here. So when x is equal to 1, the point of contact is equal to square root of 1, which is 1. So 1 comma 1 is the point of contact here. And now to find the equation of the tangent, first thing is we need to find the slope. So this is x is equal to half after we find the point of contact. 
So y dash is 1 over 2, x raised to power 1 over 2 minus 1. So y dash is equal to 1 over 2, x raised to power 1 over 2, uh, x raised to power minus half. So y dash at x is equal to 1 is equal to 1 over 2 square root of x and x is 1. So this is equal to half. So y prime at x is equal to 1 is half. So we know the point of contact. We know our y prime. And now we are ready to write down the equation of a tangent, which is equal to 1 over 2 x plus c. And now this point lies on this. So 1 is equal to this. So c is equal to half. So the equation of the tangent in this case is half x plus half. Okay, so this is the equation of the tangent. Now we need to find out, find the point. So you need to find, okay, it seems like it's blur. Okay, sorry about that. So now you have to find the point on y is equal to square root of x at which the tangent has gradient 1 over 4. So we already know y dash which is equal to uh, 1 over 2 square root of x. So now for this one, 1 over 2 square root of x is equal to 1 over 4. So 1 over square root of x is equal to half and then 2 is equal to square root of x which means x is equal to 4. So x is equal to 4. And then y is equal to uh, square root of 4. So y is equal to 2. So the point of contact, the point of contact is equal to 4, comma 2. So this is the point of contact here. Okay. Uh, so... Um, So this is how you do it. Okay, so the, find the equation of the tangent and the, find the point on y is equal to square root of x at which the ten, tangent has gradient 1 over 4. Please make sure that you pause the video and uh, pause the video and then, you know, uh, see if any of the step is not clear, then please feel free to um, ask me also. Okay, now I'm going to do another one. Find the equation of the tangent to y is equal to fx where f of x is x cubed plus 2x at the point x is 0. So first step you do is find the point of contact, which is equal to 0, comma 0. And then f dash x is equal to 3x squared plus 2. And now we have to find the equation of a tangent at x is 0. Same step. So you find f dash x when x is 0. So this is true. And then y is equal to mx plus c so y is equal to 2x plus c now to find c we need to uh, uh, you need to substitute the point of contact so this is this so c is equal to 0 so the tangent is so the tangent is y is equal to 2x okay i hope it is clear now the next one again i'm going to do f of x this is equal to you need to separate that first x plus 4 x minus 1 still f of x then f dash x is equal to 1 plus 4 minus 1 x minus 2 so 1 minus 4 over x square now at the point x is equal to negative 1 uh, first step which i haven't done you should do is find the point of contact so the point of contact is equal to uh, negative 1 whole square plus 4 divided by negative 1 so 1 plus 4 over minus 1, negative 5. So the point of contact is negative 1, comma, negative 5. So once you have point of contact, you do the derivative. And now you need to find the derivative at a specific point, when, which in this case is negative 1. So you substitute. So you get 1 minus 4 over 1. So 1 minus 4, which is negative 3. So sorry. So you got the... You got the derivative at negative 3. Now it's again y is equal to mx plus c. So y is equal to minus 3x plus c. And now you substitute the uh, point which is negative 1 comma 5, negative 5. So minus 3, negative 1 plus c, 
negative 5 is 3 plus c negative 5 minus 3 is c so c is equal to negative 8 so your final equation is y is equal to negative 3x minus 8 is the um, equation of the tan tangent so i'm going to uh, give the steps to find the equation of the tangent step number one you should find the point of contact in some questions the point of contact will be given in most of the question the x point is given so what you have to do is you substitute your x point substitute x value in given function in the given function to find y okay so that is your step one step two you find the derivative so you find the derivative but after you simplify okay because at this point we do not know uh, more rules so what you need to do is make sure you simplify uh, your given function given function simplify the given function so that there is no so that there is no uh, numerator okay sorry there is no denominator so make sure denominator so make sure you do that and step number three you find f dash x at x is equal to whatever point is given okay and step number four you write down y is equal to mx plus c you will find m from here and after you find m from here you use your point of contact from step number one to find the value of c and then that will be the uh, equation of the tangent i hope it is clear so this is your homework problems this is these are the questions you need to do this is from your textbook exercise 22 d2 page number 539 question number one a g i o r question number two there are no parts so you do all of it question number three c and e and question number four c and d so this is your homework that's it for today's lesson